start. Ah. Strategic management and uh, we'll be first giving you business policy and strategic management. What is business policy? Business policy is the study of the roles and the responsibilities of top level management, the significant issues of affecting organizational success and the decision affecting organization in larger in longer run. That is what we understand by business policy. Business policy defines the scope and the sphere within which decisions can be taken by the subordinates in an organization. It permits a lower level of management to deal with problems and issues without consulting top level management every time uh, for decision. So business policies are guidelines developed by an organization to govern its action. They define the limits, do not, do's and do nots, Within the decision, uh, within which decision must be made, business policy, uh, business policy and strategic management deals with also policy in, includes business policy includes guidelines, rules and procedures established to support efforts to achieve stated objectives. Policies are guidelines to decision making uh, and <coughs> guidelines are policies are guidelines to decision making and addresses repetitive or recurring situ uh, situations. Policies <coughs> define the area into which decisions are to be made, but it does not give the decision. A policy is a verbal written or Im implied overall guideline setting up boundaries that support the general limits and direction into which the managerial action will take place. So it is more about so, uh, uh, a policy is a verbal written or implied overall guide setting up boundaries that supply the general limits and the direction which manager, managerial actions uh, will take place. Examples of business policies are human resource policies, it's about hiring, uh, employing profiles, training, transfer, promotion, wage, incentives and bonus, uh, material policies, quality, quantity, vendors, payment terms, stores and handling, documentation, market policies, these are some of the examples, marketing policies, quality policies, what to sell, where to, where to whom, through whom, communication, standard checks and controls, feedbacks, corrective measures, so forth. So, so this is about what policy is all about. What is a corporate strategy? A corporate, stra <coughs> a corporate strategy is the direction and the scope of an organization which assists the advantage for the organization through its confederation of resources within a changing environment and to fulfill stakeholders' expectations. This is one idea that we need to focus on also, corporate strategy. Uh, <coughs> as I said earlier, it is the direction and the scope of an organization which uh, achieves advantage for the organization through its configuration of resources within a changing environment and to fulfill the stakeholder expectation. What is strategic management? It is a managerial process that focuses on identifying and building competitive advantage by generating goods, good ideas and implementing them effectively. Corporate strategy is the pattern of major objectives, purposes or goals and essential policies or plans for achieving these goals stated in such a way as to define what business a company, the company is in or is to be and the kind of uh, company it is or it is to be. The task of corporate strategy is to create a distinctive way ahead for an organization using whatever skills and resources it has against the background of environment and its constraints. So five tasks of strategic management. First, formulate a strategic vision, long-term direction, a sense of purposeful action. Second, setting objectives, converting strategic visions into specific performance outcomes for the organization to achieve. Third, creating a, st a strategy to achieve desired results. That means macroeconomic analysis, industry analysis, game theory, capability-based strategic formulation, dynamic capability and evolutionary thinking. Number five, implement and number four, implementing and executing the strategy. Uh, number five, evaluating performance, reviewing and correcting actions. Business model. A business model is a document describing the, the uh, operations of a business, including the components of the business, the function and the design. It is a plan implemented by a company to generate revenue and make a profit from operations. 
Margate defines business model as stories that explain how enterprises work. A business model depicts the content, structure, and the governance of transactions designed so as to create value through exploitations of business opportunities. A business model is the logic of the field, the, the way it operates and how it creates value for its stakeholders. Business model. A business model is how a company operates and, uh, and a strategy is how a company competes. Strategies cannot, cannot be formulated without first understanding the fundamental elements of a business model. When the, when the business, when the basis of a competition changes, becomes a new model, change the economy in industry. Business models need to be adjusted and the strategy realigned. How corporate strategy links the organization, organization's resource with its environment. You have got here a uh, growing economy, uh, you have got elements to take such as opportunities, threats, uh, opportunity threats, opportunities, environment, customer excited, suppliers becoming, etc. Uh, resource, uh, resources strategy needed to direct activities of its people, finance and factories, etc. This is something that so how corporate strategy links the organization resource with its environment. So at the center of our firm, and it has got uh, rivals, you have got suppliers, you have got substitutes, substitutes, you have got buyers, and the uh, general environment is you have got technology, you have got uh, environment at large, legislations and regulations, and population, demography, society and values, and lifestyles. All these are all display an important role in formulations of strategies. Environmental traits and opportunity profile. Environmental threats and opportunity profile analysis is a management tool that analyzes the environmental information and determines the relative impact of threats and opportunities for the systematic evaluation of the environment. Environmental scan is the process of gathering, analyzing, and dispensing information for tactical or strategic purpose. So, environmental threats and opportunity analysis involves dividing the the uh, environment into different environmental sectors and then analyzing the impact of each sector on the organization. Environmental trait organization, uh, organization <coughs> environmental traits and opportunity profile gives a clear picture of the strategic gives a clear picture to the strategies about each aspect of the business environment, the various individual factors within each sector which affects the business favorably or otherwise. So environmental traits and opportunities profile has got environmental sectors, nature of the impact, impact of the sector, economic, market, global, and this impact on a number of issues are to be uh, observed. Environmental traits and opportunity profile, uh, environmental uh, sector, political, regulatory, social, and nature of the impact, uh, you have got impact of the sector, with correlation, compulsion, lack of direction, instability, took too many controls in too many controls in inspector, documentations and licensing reservations, so on. So environmental traits and opportunity profile. This is another aspect. You have got technology suppliers, and this is impact and uh, impact on the sector cheap. Cheaper technology development, skilled and trained indigenous talent, too few vendors and too supply, <coughs> new suppliers relevant to enter the market, uh, the market pricing and scheduling issues. Characteristics of corporate strategy. So, corporate strategy provides direction when the economy enters new economic markets. The strategy determines markets of the field, customer and competitors. Generally a long range, uh, generally long range in nature, but valid for short range situation. That is uh, characteristic of corporate uh, strategy. The second is action oriented and more specific than objectives, multi prolonged and integrated and flexible and dynamic. 
characteristics of corporate strategy that is a continuation of the fourth one. The fifth is formulated at, at the top management level with, with inputs from middle and lower level man managers. Uh, number six, generally meant to deal with competitive and complex settings. Number seven, flows out of goals and objectives and is meant to turn them into realities. Eight, is concerned with perceiving opportunities and threats and seizing initiative to cope with them. Number nine, pro provides unified criteria for managers in, in functions of decision making. So these are some of the main characteristics uh, that we uh, observe regarding what in characteristics of corporate strategy. Let us, I mean, take time.